afternoon. Uh, today we will see something about uh, blood cancers. Uh, so what are blood cancers? It is mainly uh, the proliferation of blood cells. We have three kinds of blood cells, red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets which are all produced from the mother cells called stem cells from the bone marrow. So when these cells are produced in normal amount, we don't have any disease. If this production of the cells are in increased amounts, any one of the cells or all the three cells, then that can lead to blood cancer. That is, that is the one of the condition, blood cancer is one of the condition in which the cells will be uh, produced in increased quantities, uncontrollable quantities. But there can be some other causes in the body which is infections or some other things which can lead to increase in the production of the uh, blood cells. So first when there is increase in production of the blood cells we have to see whether one cell is affected or all the three cells are affected and first we have to rule out all other causes of uh, increase in blood cells and then further we have to diagnose whether it is due to the blood cancer or not. So how we diagnose blood cancers? Basically we have um, one, one thing first initially we do is we see under microscope how the cells are. If the cells are normal, then we have to rule out all other causes of increase in blood cells. But if the blood cells are not no, uh, normal, there are some abnormal blood cells which we called as blasts. If those blasts are there in the blood, then we can be uh, sure that, that there is a blood cancer. So what type of blood cancer? Whether it is in one cell line is affected or other cell line is affected, then we have to go for tests like bone marrow test which can say which type of blood cancer the patient is suffering from. There are two types of blood cancers. One is chronic uh, leukemias and another one is uh, acute leukemias. Acute leukemias is an immediate emergency where the patient must be treated immediately and uh, that requires a bone marrow test to see uh, what kind of blast they are having. The acute leukemias can be acute myeloid leukemia or acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So what kind of uh, cells, the cancer cells are present in the bone marrow has to be uh, examined after a bone marrow study which we called aspiration and biopsy. And that is a simple procedure which takes uh, 15 to 20 minutes to do under local anesthesia mainly for adults we do and for children maybe under general anesthesia or short sedation. After uh, doing the bone marrow aspiration and uh, biopsy, apart from microscopy we have some special tests to be, to be sent for uh, all this uh, uh, leukemia suspected patients like uh, cytogenetics, karyotyping or some molecular tests. So these all tests will help us what is the risk of that disease, what is the risk of the leukemia. And uh, in chronic leukemias, uh, it is over a period of time, they develop this leukemias over a period of time like uh, say months or even years and patients may have the symptoms related to cancer or the patients may not have the symptoms related to cancer. And uh, maybe the diagnosis was made coincidentally by doing a blood test for uh, some other purpose or it can be diagnosed when the patient is symptomatic. Uh, that differs from patient to patient. And uh, how do we, what uh, symptoms are present for these uh, cancers? The cancer symptoms are mainly uh, three. That, that is uh, one uh, symptom is due to reduction of the hemoglobin because of the abnormal cell production that can be suppression of the production of red blood cells which can lead to anemia and that can be because of and that can lead to symptoms like uh, easy fatigability shortness of breath after walking for a short distance um, and uh, cannot work normal household works also they cannot do so like that uh, one can be because of the anemia which is uh, present in the cancers and the second type of symptom can be because of the ineffective immune system that is when the WBCs what we call as white blood cells are not produced in proper uh, quantity and proper function is not there then that can lead to uh, infections and that infections can cause fever, prolonged fever which is not explainable and some fevers which uh, where all the tests are negative like uh, all the viral test, bacterial test what we do for normal infections are negative. 
can be one of the presentation of blood cancer and the third one is because platelets are not functioning properly or because platelets are not produced properly because of the abnormal cells which are produced in the bone marrow normal platelets are not produced and it are, they are suppressed and that can be that can lead to symptoms of bleeding bleeding mainly from the skin like there can be some small red spots in the skin like uh, what we called as fatigue ecchymosis in the skin or there can be bleeding somewhere else in the gums uh, or from the nasal cavity from the nose so all this bleeding can occur or in this motion or in the urine and these are all the main symptoms of blood cancer so any of these symptoms if present uh, should be consulted immediately and these kind of uh, uh, diseases have to be ruled out thank you today we have seen what is the symptoms of blood cancers and how it can be diagnosed uh, initially and what are the types of blood cancers. Thank you.